Hey there, welcome back to another video. So recently I've seen many 3D designs created with uh, 3D tools in Adobe Illustrator, especially after the launch of the latest Illustrator version, which has a nice design on the loading splash screen. The designer is called Daniel Escudeiro, and I'm talking about this design. You can see more on his Behance page, which I have opened here, which has a lot of great stuff to check. This is actually pretty impressive that Illustrator can do a 3D design like that and look so realistic especially because it is not a 3D software like Cinema 4D. So I'm going to show you how to create a similar text effect on Illustrator and also how to add a colorful texture to make it more unique pretty much like this design here. Let's get straight into it. I will create a new document. I will make it 1000 by 1000 pixels. And then I will type a word like let's say the word bold let's increase that a bit I will add another font like a bolder font uh, because I would like to show more the 3D like the highlights and the shadows so for this case I will choose a font called Marshmallow that one you can find it on Adobe Fonts uh, which is available with the Adobe subscription I have activated so I have it available on my Adobe Creative Cloud so here it is and now I'm going to change the color for now I will add something more bright yeah something like that and I will add now the 3D effect which I will do that with the 3D and Materials tool, you can find it also from here. From the effects, you can go to 3D and Materials and select the Inflate. It already has some shadows and some highlights, but we're going to do it more like realistic. So here we have three different tabs. First, we're going to the tab Object, and we're not going to change so many things. I just want to have the depth to zero and I will leave them like they are. Um, I will select the inflate both sides. But now we can see a big change, but yeah, if we have a different angle, it will be visible. And then we're going to the second tab, materials. Here I will change only the base properties for now. So I will make this zero and I will add this like 20%. Yeah, like that. And then we will come back to that to add some texture later. And then I'm going to lighting. And then we can change the lighting direction. I would just click and drag. I would put it somewhere like here. And then we'll change some of these parameters here. So let's make this a bit more like 85 would be fine. The rotation I will decrease that something like 31 um, now maybe a bit more like yeah let's leave like that 54 you can also change the direction of the light here too like that here's the softness of the light so I will make that a bit more like 60 something like 65 yeah uh, I will not check the ambient light. This will add some more light, some more details from the light, but usually I don't like this how it looks on Illustrator. So yeah, I will uncheck that. And then I will add shadows, which as you see is the shadow behind in the background. I will make that uh, like uh, 90. Yeah, 93 is fine. And then I will add another light because as you see here we can add more lights than one. So the second one I would like it to have a different color. We can change the color here to something maybe like pink. Yeah, like that. As you can see here it is already visible on the top. 
but I will change the direction to come from the bottom like that. So we have a mix here, like you know, not a very clear white, but also another color like you know the pink that we added. Um, I will leave the same settings as previously with the other light and then we're going to add a background on because now it doesn't look very good with the white so I'm going to change that to um, maybe something like purple let's see I move it to back I click the command in the left bracket and change the color to um, maybe a dark purple Okay, so now we already have something here you can see that there's a warning saying that to enable the shadows from multiple lights in your scene turn on ray tracing render i'm going to render it with this button here so if i click it you can see it will change a lot and will be uh, very realistic it takes some time because it depends on the computer but this is the result as you can see it's totally different there are many highlights of the lights or the shadow is very nice on the background. Um, so if I select it again, now you see the warning is gone because we, we rendered it. And then you can also change the quality to medium or high, but it's better to do them by yourself because uh, it depends on the computer. So if I add the high quality, then it will take some time to render it. Okay, so now let's see how to add some colorful textures on the material. I will go to pexels.com and select a random ab abstract image. I will choose this one and I have already downloaded so I'm going back to Illustrator and I will select the, the file, I will add it inside. Right now it's quite big, so I'm going to reduce the size. Okay, it's fine like that. And then I will go to materials, select the plus button and add a single graphic. Uh, here you can see that you cannot add it if it is a link, so you have to embed it on the on the document. So I have it selected, I'm going to the links and then I will embed it like that. Now this is part of our document, I'm going back to the 3D materials and select plus, add single graphic. So you can see it here. Now we don't need this anymore, so I will delete that. And okay, I select that and then I add graphic. I click it once and then you can see that it will add it on the design. So here it is, we have it on the letter O. But now I will click the render button again because it will take more time to add the graphic in a rendered design. So here that we have added the texture, I can click and drag to change and adjust the texture. Uh, we can also increase or decrease the size like that and then in order to have it also on the other letters we can click again and it will add one more so here's the other one I click and drag to put it on the other letter one more like that and one more for the letter B Yeah, like that. So now if I select it and go again and click render, it will have this beautiful colorful texture. And then you can just export it and have it as a design or you can export only the letters. So if I remove the background, I will export only that and then go on Photoshop and add some more details with the uh, lightings and adjustments. Or you can take just the text and copy it and then go into Photoshop. I will create a new document here, again, a thousand by a thousand pixels.
here's the design I will add a new button so with the rectangular marquee tool I will select it and add a color like probably similar with the previous one but I will also add an adjustment layer so I'm going to select the color lookup and then here we can have a look on this you can choose whichever you like and that was it this is how to create this 3d effect in adobe illustrator you will be able to find this project file on my patreon page and gumroad where i upload all the design files from my youtube videos if you like this video, consider subscribing, like and comment below and let me know if you have any questions. See you on the next video.